What's up guys today's video is on the top 3 best budget TVs in 2024. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers so whether it's price performance or its particular use we've got you covered. For more information on the products I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Now let's get started. Number 3 Hisense A6H the Hisense A6H is an entry-level 4K TV in Hisense 2022 lineup. It's a budget model that sits below Hisense Yule series, which starts with the Hisense U6 U6H, and above smaller budget models like the Hisense A4H. Although it supports HDMI Forum VRR for gaming, it's still limited to a 60Hz refresh rate and doesn't support HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. It runs the Google TV 11 smart interface, which is fast and easy to use, and has a great selection of apps, including all major streaming services. The Hisense A6H is an OK TV for mixed usage. It's best suited for watching movies or TV shows in a moderately lit room. It has a low contrast ratio, subpar black uniformity, and no local dimming feature, so it's not a good choice for watching movies or HDR content in a dark room. It's okay for gaming, as it has low input lag and variable refresh rate support, but its response time is just okay, so there's a bit of noticeable blur behind fast-moving objects. Finally, it's great for use as a PC monitor thanks to its wide viewing angle, so the image remains uniform even if you're sitting close to it, the TV has a surprisingly premium design for a budget TV, with very thin bezels on three sides and a matte grey finish. The V-shaped feet are nearly identical to the Hisense A6G. The feet are wide set, but the 65 and 75 inch models have an alternate position for the feet that takes up less space. The 43, 50 and 55 inch models can only be set up with the feet in the wide position. Overall, the TV has decent build quality. There's a lot of flex on the plastic electronics box that is on the back of the TV, but it doesn't cause any issues. Number 2, Vizio M Series Quantum X. The Vizio M Series Quantum X is a mid-range for KTV released in 2022. It's part of Vizio's lineup that they label as 2023. The Vizio M Series Quantum X is a very good TV for mixed usage. It's great for watching movies or gaming in a dark room thanks to its amazing native contrast ratio and decent full array local dimming feature. It also has very good peak brightness in HDR and a wide HDR color gamut, so it's a great choice for watching movies or gaming in HDR. It's decent for watching sports or shows during the day, but it's a bit limited by its poor viewing angle, as anyone watching from the sides will see a degraded image. Finally, it's good for use as a PC monitor, but it can't display 4K at 120Hz signals properly. The Vizio M Series Quantum X 2022 has a simple design that looks premium. The bezels are very thin on all four sides, and the stand is sleek and simple. The feet are close together, but they support the TV well. There are two height positions for the feet, and there's a bit more wobble when they're in the higher setting. The Vizio M Series Quantum X 2022 has good build quality overall. The feet are metal and support the TV well but it wobbles a bit, especially with the higher setting. The rest of the TV is mainly made of plastic and there's some flex in the back panel, but this is common and won't likely cause any issues. Number 1 Sony Bravia X80K The Sony X80K is an entry-level TV in Sony's lineup. Compared to the higher-end models, it's bare in terms of features as it lacks any variable refresh rate, VRR, support and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth and it's limited to a 60Hz panel in all available sizes except the 85-inch version. Still, it comes with the same Google TV interface with many apps you can download, and it's compatible with Sony's proprietary TV webcam, so you can use it to make video calls or for hands-free gestures. It also comes with Sony's redesigned remote, which still has a built-in MIC for voice control, letting you use various voice commands. It's powered by Sony's entry-level 4K HDR processor X1 and offers a few motion enhancement features powered by Sony's 4K X Reality PRO processor. The Sony X80K is okay overall. It's a good TV for watching sports or TV shows in wide seating areas because it has a wide viewing angle, 
and the image looks consistent from the sides. It also has decent reflection handling and SDR peak brightness, so it's fine for rooms with a few lights around. However, it isn't good for watching movies or for gaming in dark rooms because it has a low contrast ratio and lacks a local dimming feature. Its HDR performance is also subpar as it has a low HDR peak brightness. The TV is slightly redesigned from the Sony X80J, although it's a basic design, it looks nice overall. The stand is typical of Sony, with wide-set metal feet that have a big footprint, so you'll need a large table to place it on. It supports the TV well, and it raises the screen 3.3 inches off the table, meaning most soundbars won't block it. The TV has decent build quality. It's stable on the stand without much wobble thanks to the solid metal feet. The TV itself is made entirely out of plastic that's well put together, and there aren't any issues with it but the plastic itself isn't very strong. The back panel flexes easily, especially towards the center. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.